Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 5 minutes to 11, 11.25, so November 25th. It's Monday. It's about freezing, which is uh, zero for my uh, my friends up there in Canada. Zero Celsius and uh, about 32 Fahrenheit. This thing thinks it's, I don't know, could you guys see that? This thinks it's about 32 Fahrenheit. Beautiful day, Hudson Valley here. We, uh... We have uh, virtually no clouds. Um, it's sunny. The wind is not blowing. I like that. I like that a lot um, because I can really warm up nicely. I'm uh, wearing uh, blue coveralls. I don't know. Could you guys see these? These are uh, Nomex, like everything I get, eBay. Um, and I discovered that I can wear less clothing underneath, and if I put these on, because I guess they're tied around the waist, which means you lose less air, you know, when you bend over, and you, uh, you know, ventilate your back and your butt crack and so forth, um, I guess you lose a lot of heat that way. So I found that if I, I wear this, I can kind of have like a layer or two underneath, and then I... Um, just put a hooded sweatshirt on underneath it so if I get cold I put the hood on up and down and other than that I get by fairly well uh, purpose of this video um, as I was putting this together I thought to myself you know there might be somebody out there who's gonna buy one of these things for some reason and actually use it for what its purpose is not like I use things for you know whatever I can make them do so, this here, uh, this is Harbor Freight. I think I told you guys yesterday it was on sale for um, 89, no, 79 bucks. And um, I had a 25% off coupon. So, um, 75 bucks becomes, or 79 bucks becomes, you know, minus 20, which takes it down to 60. And then what you, uh, what you do, um, then here in the U.S., particularly around here, you got to pay eight and a quarter percent sales tax. So this is this is kind of what it's meant to do, and there's the number on it, right? Six zero three nine five heavy duty lift, three hundred pounds. Um, I checked it; it does actually lift to twenty four inches, so that actually does what it's supposed to. That's the pictures. These little bar things here. Wait a minute, where are we? Let me. Uh, these bar things. Um, they actually go in the back of these through these these little holes back here where are we right there to keep them from falling out basically if you pull them all the way if you pull them all the way through um, I measured it cut out my free Harbor Freight tape measure and I measured it and it actually does lift 24 inches up which is nice um, this is 46 inches right uh, now it might be even a tad more than that so I might I might be having a pair of 24s might give me 48 and that might not be quite enough might have a little little ridge to get over Ooh, I got 50, so I'm gonna have uh, like two inches to uh, to get it over once once I get it up there. That'll be interesting. Um, I was thinking about this yesterday. Harbor Freight also has a 50-pound hoist, and I really, really should not put a hoist on the ceiling here because these are joists and they're really not meant to deal with that. But um, if I close the door, I can. I mean, the front part of the garage is good. Then I could kind of put the pole back and then should I actually decide to use the hoist, I could put a, uh, a stand or something underneath it and lift them that way too. But anyhow, enough of that. This is supposed, supposed to be uh, about this Pittsburgh 300 pound high lift lawnmower jack. So, it does lift 24 inches, which is nice. Well, actually, with the platform, which gives me like another 3 inches, 
Maybe I will make it. Right, 48 and 3 is 51. Yeah, actually I will make it. I love I love my luck. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get back here to show you how this whole thing works. All right, so here you go. It's in the lifted position to drop it down. You step on this little pedal thing here. Right, see it's dropping down nice and slow. Seems to pump up plenty easy. Part of the problem with going through this demonstration for you guys is this is kind of a tight area. So that's down. Here's up, right? I mean, it's literally that easy. I did not put the extended warranty on these things. Um, it's I'm not sure how much it was. Um, last time I used an extended warranty, it was on the flux core welder. And it was my first flux core welder. I was just learning how to weld with the flux core welder. Um, you can see the black one over there. The flux core welder I bought back then was a blue one. Once again, put the warranty on it, beat it. I mean, I just used that thing like no tomorrow. And uh, I was having trouble with wire feeding through it. Um, so um, right at the end of the two years, I brought it back and got that one. It didn't cost me anything. It was free to get a new one, which was made me happy. I figured now, basically, I'll get four years of welder for the price of two. Well, the price of one and a half, I guess. And uh, there we are. So anyway, this is the lift. I mean, it's got a handle. You could jockey it around. It about, takes about 15 minutes to put together. Once you put one of them together, you don't have to look at the instructions anymore. Before you put one of them together, you probably need to look at the instructions, unless you're a lot smarter than I am. Um, what my plan is where those tires are here, I plan on putting the platform. You notice I left the platform kind of opened in the back. Um, that's because I actually do plan on um, putting a couple, well, actually I plan on using it. And if necessary, I could put a couple of um, uh, ratchet straps on both of these guys, ratchet them back to here so the platform doesn't fall down. I plan on jacking it up with the platform and then putting milk containers or something else underneath it um, or actually a box situation and then hooking to the box situation and lifting the whole thing the rest of the way up and plopping this right where it needs to go and then I'm gonna be very happy, right? So there's the plan. All right, folks, um, by the way, what do you guys think of this uh, Custom exhaust here, huh? I guess uh, if the thing smokes, and this one did, if I recall, gives you a nice rooster tail of smoke coming out the back. Um, this one also has the toolbox, right? But it has no tools in it. Almost none of them do. So there you go. Um, actually, it's it's not a bad gig lifting it up like this. You know, you could kind of lift them up, and uh, should you decide to power wash them. You could power wash them well. If I decided to lift it up only by the uh, front wheel, I'm not quite sure how one would do that. I guess um, one would put something across the front here and uh, or put a band between the two of them, drive the front tire such that you know the band is tight across the two of them and then I guess you can lift the front wheel up also right I guess that would work okay folks live love and have a great time we'll catch you on the next episode of the horde we'll see how we get by today um, so there's my review I guess for uh, 60 bucks I like it for 80 bucks I don't care for it much and uh, if you hear me complaining about it in the future, it's because it didn't last very long. They do give you 90 days to break it and bring it back and get another one. So uh, hopefully I figure out if I like it within those 90 days. Guys, take care. Remember, tires down, handlebars up. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, um, you know, 
go out and buy an ATC. I'm uh, enjoying some of the feedbacks. Uh, some of you guys are already out there buying these things, um, and uh, I'm, I'm, that's cool because these things could only sit around for so long. If you don't have them in the right conditions, they do kind of die, and you can see some of the ones out there that I'm not are not in the right conditions and it's not making them better right it's making them worse so anyway folks take care we'll catch you on the next episode